So it says, days before break, when all through the towns of Acton and Agua Dulce, the little metal arcs were busily buzzing about. Hot cocoa and donuts were assembled with care, thanks to the staff and PTO, knowing students would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their cars while driving to see their sweet teachers and staff and all of the little ones and parents smiled with jubilation as they turned off their Chromebooks for a long winter's vacation. When through the drive through they came with the clatter. The staff sprang to their cars with a quick pitter-patter. Away the car windows flew without skipping a beat. Hands full of donuts, hot cocos, and treats. The smiles all around were as bright as the sun, spreading cheers of joy and holiday fun. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, Super Scholar Awards and recognition so dear, with a few words of praise so lovely and sweet, the kids also felt pride in their hearts just as neat. A car full of treats and happiness too, and then in a twinkling we heard from the drive the humming and buzzing of happy metal arcs from the hive. As they turned to drive home with a wave and a giggle, we saw that they had grown up so much this year, not just a little. The bundle of fun continued as kids joined the school through Zoom. Asma filled the air with sounds of the season and tambourines that boom. All the classics were singing and students learning to play. Musical instruments like the flute, the phones, and recorders all day. Creative teachers planned lessons to connect their two rooms. They are discovering ways to do everything on Zoom. Students work together on challenging puzzles and such, completing virtual escape rooms and thinking they didn't hurt at all. Well, not very much. Hi, we're the fourth grade teachers at Metal Arc. I'm Miss Scheidig. I'm Miss O'Brien. We decided to uh, combine our classes on Zoom. And so we had like 46 kids all together on Zoom, which was really fun. And we decided to do an activity together because the kids don't get to see each other at school, obviously, or outside of school. Um, so we went ahead and did that. Well, we started with uh, what we do each day where we have the students go ahead and do an SEL slide of some sort. And so we did a Fun Fact Friday. So our first Fun Fact Friday slide was telling them something about their teacher. And it was a uh, favorite ice cream peppermint. And the other teacher is their favorite ice cream is cookies and cream and then asking what flavor they like, but they also had to guess which teacher they thought liked which ice cream. So that was a lot of fun. And most of the kids were actually correct. So what we did in order to help stimulate a little bit of team building, as well as keep the students staying together and connected was we did a digital breakout room. Miss Scheidig and I came together a few weeks in advance and we combined our students in uh, differentiated breakout rooms so that students would be able to meet new friends, maybe have some old ones, as well as have appropriate levels in each group in order to make sure every group was successful in the breakout room. So for each of the clue slides, there was different locks for each slide. So each slide had a riddle that the students had to work together to solve. 
and they had to put them into a lock. So students were relying on each other to make sure somebody was having all of the code together as well as bouncing different ideas off of each other. So the first one we had was grandma's mix and match mittens. So they had to come together and figure out the riddle by reading through the uh, paragraph and figuring out. And when the students got them right, they were ecstatic. It was very fun to see them light up when they got the right answer. The kids had so much fun and worked so hard together. We didn't actually get to do every single one of the clues um, because some of them actually were harder than others for them to do, but they worked together and had to explain their thinking afterwards, which was nice. And I think one of my favorite parts about this was the students didn't actually ask or mention what the prize was. When I was just jumping through each and every breakout room, they were just excited to talk to one another. So they weren't thinking about a prize. They were just thinking about how to solve the codes and work together and just have a good time before winter break. Closing out the week with holiday joy all around, happiness connections and holiday magic were found. In hearts of the children, staff and teachers alike, where communities built and wonderful memories filled with delight. Yes, we heard them exclaim as they signed off for the break. Happy holidays to all and to all a good rest. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get some snowflakes.